So how hard is it to get results with red light therapy? Although it's great to look into the research and see all the proven benefits, there's obviously differences in the way that they conduct their sessions and the type of devices that they're using versus how you're going to be doing it at home and the kind of devices that are being sold for at-home usage. So in this video I'm going to be unpacking some of the protocols that they use in the research and whether or not you're going to be able to get these same results in the comfort of your own home. What's up guys, it's Nick Kutsia here and welcome to the Mychondria YouTube channel. If this is your first time here, then make sure that you are both subscribed and that you've clicked the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our future content. On this channel we talk all about light and how it can affect your life and your circadian rhythms so that you can obviously live your best life. Now in this video I want to discuss whether or not it's easy to get results with red light therapy in the comfort of your own home. You see a lot of the research was based on using lights that aren't very similar to the ones that are now being sold for at-home usage. So we have about 50 years of research on red light therapy and a lot of that comes from lasers. Now lasers were a lot more expensive and if you wanted to buy a really good quality one you would have to spend thousands of dollars in order to get a therapeutic laser that would give you the benefits that was proven in the scientific research. Now what's happened over the last few years is with the introduction of LED lights we've been able to replicate these benefits at a much lower cost. So instead of having to spend thousands of dollars on a device or even going to a spa and spending $50 every single session, you can now do a once-off payment of a couple hundred dollars and get yourself an LED light which should, if you get the right device, get you the same results. Now it's actually quite interesting to think that we still have clinics that are offering sessions for $50 and I almost think of it as the equivalent of a movie store. You know, you used to be able to, or you would go down to a movie store and if you wanted to watch a movie you had to rent it, you could only have it for 24 hours and uh, go and get a physical old school tape if this is not before your time. And these days you just go on somewhere like Netflix and you can just immediately have access to that and it's very similar where people are still thinking they need to go to a spa and spend $50 where there's this place that's got this very expensive laser, whereas in reality there are devices out there now with LED lights that are a lot cheaper and can get you the same if not better results. Now I believe that the reason this transition hasn't really happened is because the LED space at the moment, not all of those devices are created equal. So it can be really hard to get results at home if you are using a device that doesn't match the specifications of those used in the scientific studies. Now I'm not going to be able to elaborate on all four of the specifications that you should be looking at uh, within this video, but if you go to the description it'll take you to a page and you can find out exactly how you can compare different red light therapy companies, the ones that are being marketed for at home usage, and figure out whether or not they're actually going to get you the same results that you see in the scientific study. But for the rest of this video I'm going to be unpacking three protocols that were used in scientific studies for different benefits, and then I'm going to compare them to how you could replicate them at home with a specific home device. So the three benefits that I'm going to be covering are going to be sleep quality, muscle recovery, as well as hair loss. So sleep is obviously one of those areas where if you have a small improvement, it can have drastic effects on so many different areas of your life. You know, 5% increase in sleep quality is going to mean better energy levels, better mood, decreased inflammation. And in a previous video, we covered a study which showed the results of using red light therapy for 14 days on sleep quality. And what they found at the end of the study is that there was a 28% increase in sleep quality and the participants had a 75% increase in their sleep hormone known as melatonin in the evening times. Now obviously if you wanted to replicate this in your own home you would need a device that could give you the same light dosage that they used in this study and using the MyLight MIDI you'd be able to get that same dose within 5 minutes. The second one is on muscle recovery and this study is awesome because they literally got results with a single session. So I'll link to it above again if you want to go into it in more detail. But basically what happened in this study is they had a whole bunch of guys doing a really hard exercise session and then half of them received a single red light therapy session and they monitored their muscle recovery over the next few days. What they found, there were various different things that were measured but by the fourth day there was 80% less muscle damage in those that had done a red light therapy session immediately after the workout. 
So obviously the red and your infrared light is providing more energy to your cells and that obviously helped the muscle tissues to repair and build quicker and that means you're going to get better results in the gym because now you can go harder into your next session and you're not actually still dealing with a little bit of muscle damage and that's obviously going to lead to quicker results. Now again if you wanted to get the same light dosage you could use a MyLight MIDI or a MyLight Max. You'd be able to do that within five minutes literally straight after your exercise session, your workout. You could just stand in front of your device and target those muscles five minutes would get you the same light dosage as that study. The third protocol that we're going to be touching on is hair loss. Now in this study they had a whole bunch of guys completely shave their head and then half of them did a red light therapy protocol for 16 weeks. And what they basically did is every second day they would do a red light therapy session and by the end of the 16 weeks they found that those who had used red light therapy had a 39% greater increase in hair growth compared to the control group. Now for this study they use a slightly higher dosage, so this would mean doing a treatment every second day, but it was between 10 and 12 minutes if you looked at the equivalent with a MyLight Move, you'd be able to get that same dosage that they used there. Obviously in the comfort of your own home you'd be able to do this on a daily session and you might get different results, but in that protocol they actually managed to find that even doing sessions every second day, although they were slightly longer, they were still able to see drastic results in those who used red light therapy. Now as I mentioned in the beginning, not all LED devices are created equal. So if you want to look at getting yourself a red light therapy device that you can use at home, I highly suggest that you go to the description of this video and click on that link where you can learn more about the key differences between LED devices that are being marketed for at home usage. If you don't get a device that actually matches the quality of those used in the studies, there is a chance you're just going to end up with a fancy party light, you're going to be standing in front of a light that isn't actually going to give you the results that you're after. If you have any questions from today's video, then please feel free to drop them in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the content in today's video, please be sure to smash the thumbs up button. That just lets us know that you enjoy content like this and fuels our fire to make more videos like this for you. Other than that, I hope that you have a fantastic day further and we will chat again soon. Cheers.